new videos every day. Hi there, and welcome back to a video update. I am Dr. Brady Hurst, the clinic director here at TrueHealthLabs.com. Today's subject, I want to touch on the surprising effects of insulin and the differences between how insulin affects both females and males, okay? So the first thing I wanna to touch on is what is insulin? Insulin is a hormone that's secreted from the pancreas. What it does is it helps lower blood sugar levels, especially after we eat a, a, a high carbohydrate meal or a large meal. Blood sugar goes up, insulin is released to push that sugar into cells, so the cells can use as energy. However, the hormone the hormone insulin actually has other actions that are actually uh, the majority different between females and males. So first let's go over the effect of insulin on females. Now higher levels of insulin in females will cause the ovaries to produce a hormone called testosterone. Now many people have heard of testosterone, they think of it as a male dominant hormone, and it is. However, when females have a high level of, of insulin, for a long period of time, their testosterone will go up. Testosterone levels, excuse me, will go will elevate. This can cause problems. Okay, this can cause uh, several things. One's called uh, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, where women develop cysts on their ovaries. This is actually the number one cause of infertility in the United States. Okay, is PCOS. Okay, so it's due to high levels of insulin. Okay, how do we get insulin levels lower? Diet is a huge, huge component of this, okay? So having a, a diet that causes insulin levels to spike, this would be a high carbohydrate diet, low protein, low fat diet, this will cause blood sugars to, to spike during, uh, during the day. Increasing, uh, increasing insulin, thus increasing testosterone, thus increasing the chances of developing cysts in the ovaries. On top of that, high testosterone levels in, in females promotes insulin resistance, which means it keeps the insulin levels high. So it's a vicious cycle, okay? So it's a very, very, very important for females to know their testosterone levels because that might be an early indicator of either cysts on the ovaries or an early indicator saying, hey, I need to get my diet in shape so these problems don't persist in the future, okay? Now, insulin in males actually does something different. In high insulin levels in males will actually promote estrogen, increases of estrogen, which is a female-dominant hormone. So what can happen is that, with, let's just say a male uh, eats a, a piece of candy on an empty stomach and the blood sugar level goes really high. Or let's give a more realistic example. Uh, a male eats a bowl of uh, a bowl of cereal with uh, bananas and milk. Okay, which is is a, a typical type breakfast. Insulin levels will sh what, blood sugar levels will shoot up. Insulin will be secreted in order to lower that blood sugar level and get that sugar into cells for energy. That insulin will cause specific enzymes that are found in fat cells to convert testosterone, the male dominant hormone which should be at higher levels in a male, it will convert that testosterone into estrogen, okay? This, can, this, can, this has a lot of problems associated with, okay? Uh, increase in heart disease, increase of male breast cancer, which it, it needs to be known that, that is, uh, it is becoming more and more common because of these estrogen increases, okay? Uh, you have um, uh, emotional instabilities that happen. You have... Um, uh, other psychiatric disorders, you have what's called gynecomastia, where, where men actually start to develop a uh, breast-like tissue. Okay, so th there's a lot of complications here. So in males, it's important to get the estrogen levels checked to make sure that this is not happening uh, and that something can be done early on to keep, keep these problems from occurring, okay? And for more information about these hormone tests that you can do, you can visit truehealthlabs.com and there'll be more information on there. In the search bar, you can type in female hormones or male hormones. Uh, all of our kits there have estrogen and testosterone in there to screen for that process. So uh, for more information, again, go to truehealthlabs.com. Again, I'm Dr. Brady, and stay tuned for more videos. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.